Hello everyone, Ms. Ali is here and today we are gonna be talking about another root disease. Today's root disease is about mold and mushrooms. But first I need to explain why I didn't post uh, any videos in last month. Uh, you know, I have history and I need to learn that and it's so difficult to me. For example, if you go with math, physics, biology, chemistry, geography and the others are so easy but I don't know why but history sounds a little bit difficult to me okay that doesn't matter um, let's say this let's just say you're watering your plant and you notice mold and mushrooms on the surface of the soil around your plant this may be a fuzzy white, yellow, or gray mold, or visible mushroom fruits. All of these are caused by moist conditions. While these fungi don't harm a plant's health, but you might find them unsightly. Here is what to do. 1. Physically remove mold or mushroom. Remove and dispose of mushrooms. To remove mold, scrape uh, 12... 0.5% of soil from the surface. 2. Add a layer of sand or gravel. Adding 1 divided by 4 pot or let's say 25% of sand or gravel on top of the soil surface will discourage new fungal growth. Although molds and mushrooms on the surface won't harm your plants, follow these practices to prevent mold and mushrooms from forming. 1. Limit moisture. Avoid keeping soil damp and allow it to dry out slightly between waterings. 2. Provide aeration. Increase airflow around the plants using a fan or wind. 3. Uh, I'm saying that again, okay, it doesn't matter. Apply a layer of sand. Apply 25% of sand on top of soil. Alright, today we talked about another root disease. If you like the video, you can like, subscribe, and comment down below about the next video. If you didn't watch the other root disease, the disease name is root deformation. You can go and watch. Link in the description. And see you in the next videos.